this is a quick review or a few of my thoughts on IKEA Lance Krona three seater sofa bed with the Chase Lounge. This sofa coming in the four color combinations here in the UK currently costs £729. You can have the option with the leg, we have here metal leg with those covers, you can have it wooden ones if you prefer. A good thing, very flexible, you can put this chase lounge on the left or on the right and you can have this sofa combine it like this, so the chase lounge is on the both sides, you can have the footstool or you can have two chase lounges or just the two seater sofa without the chase lounges, so you have a lot of options with this IKEA Lanz Krona sofa system. How comfortable is fairly soft cushions. I really like it. The fabric is very pleasant, nice to touch, and uh, uh, it feels it feels nice. The fabric is not washable. You can just uh, uh, clean it with a cloth and with uh, or with a vacuum cleaner. Regarding the uh, chase lounge, when you're gonna assemble it, you're gonna see it from the side. The difference between those edges. Here on the middle, this side is slightly higher than this one, so that's not the mistake, that's how it is. This mattress is slightly thicker on this side than on this side, so you just position it this way, or it's gonna level up with the other mattress. I think it's because it's just uh, slanting slightly uh, towards uh, this way. That's how it is done. Uh, mattresses, they attach just with the, with the Velcro here on each side. Just put them down this way. As I mentioned, nice and comfortable. Even the chase lounge, when you're watching telly, you want to put your feet up, pretty comfy. 729 pounds here in the UK. I think that's not a crazy price for the sofa. All the holes are pre-drilled. Uh, you just, all you need, all the tools you need is uh, one tube key, which IKEA provide in the box and uh, you can assemble it very easy. The assembly fairly easy, even for the people who don't do the don't do this job often. The legs, in this case, as I mentioned, we have metal legs, and they have uh, this uh, small fabric here for the for the covering. The fabric on the sofa is nice and pleasant to touch, and um, the cushions are nice and soft. I like the way it feels, but. Everyone have different preferences and I think the best thing is just go to IKEA, sit on it, touch the fabric, feel it, see the different color combinations so you can make the right choice. I'm just gonna show you quickly how it looks from under. As I mentioned, uh, it's fairly easy to assemble. And if you like to see how, it, how the assembly is done, you can just go to my channel and check the full assembly in detail in there. It's about four boxes with this combination. So this ending panel was here. So you just unscrew it here and uh, position the chase lounge. The holes are matching already. So you don't need to drill anything. Everything is pre-drilled. So you just plug the chase lounge, use those long screws that you're gonna find in the box. And then the ending panel, instead of here, plug it here at the end. If you decide to do the chase lounge on the left, on the on the other side, no problem. Do exactly the same as as I just mentioned. So far, it's not too heavy, easy to position. I like this uh, detail on the leg. They put a little bit of fabric here, so it makes nice and interesting from under. Not too heavy. Just watch out when you're lifting it, as I did right just now. What you're gonna have to do when you assemble it? Don't put too much pressure on the legs. If you have another person, it's a good thing if you can lift it from the side, on the both sides slightly, so you don't put too much pressure on the legs. So we don't wanna break anything. And this is it. That's a quick review or just few thoughts on three seater sofa with the Chase Lounge. Hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always. You will make my day. And don't forget to check out the assembly video on this channel. I'm a little bit out of breath by lifting that sofa up. You have a fantastic day.